people always ask how I balance my family life with 400 shows a year. I'm just doing what I love with the people I love. It's my magic life. Alright, so we came down to Thanksgiving at my parents' house and we had a nice time. Um, we spent the night before, but now Wes and I are heading back because we have shows in Cambridge, Maryland at a resort there this weekend, but Lana is actually going to stay the weekend here and help um, my parents pick out a Christmas tree and help all the cousins in them decorate it, and we're also letting them, they are kindly babysitting our puppies. They're outside right now. They're going to have a good time. Lots of land to run free. Run free. Although they're at the door right now, not taking advantage. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving. All right, so it's uh, Friday morning, day after Thanksgiving, and we're heading to Maryland. And the back seat is empty because Lana is at her grandparents. I miss her already. But I know she's having a blast. She gets to decorate two Christmas trees this year, so she's gonna help them with theirs. So, anyway, head to Maryland. We're about an hour into our four hour drive. So, be there in a little while. We live about four and a half hours away. Is that what it was? Four hours away. We live in Charlottesville, Virginia. Anybody heard of Charlottesville, Virginia? You've heard of it. You've heard of it. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Driving up here today, I did all the driving. I did 90% of the unloading equipment, right? She's taking pictures back there. She jumped out of one box. I'm doing all the work. Uh, I'm going to give you the next couple minutes. You can do a trick for everyone. Okay. Well, go ahead. You have nothing planned, do you? Stay right here. Stay right here. I got something. I got something. So here's the thing, guys. We perform all over. A lot of these shows, she doesn't get to help out that much. In our big show, she's jumping out of boxes the entire show. This show, I want you to help out. So I just got some cups here. Just hold on to those. And I got some coconut pineapple bit. And just separate the cups. What do I do is I do type trick. I'm gonna pour a little bit in each one. And you can hand me a cup, either one, doesn't matter. Okay, you're gonna hold the cup like this, look at the back of the audience and smile a little bit. Just like me, honey. Just like me? Honey, wrong hand. Do exactly like that, okay? In a second, you're gonna put the cup on top of your head, close your eyes, spin around three times, and then wait, and magic will happen. Uh, I'll go first. One, two, three. And just wait, that's it, that's all you have to do. One, you're doing great. That just opened your eyes. Perfect. Now here's the thing. Remember that lady said, abracadabra, the dollar bill disappeared? Yeah. If you say abracadabra for this, magic will happen. I'll go first. Ready? Okay. Abracadabra. Boom. It disappears. <laughs> How cool is that, right? Come on, guys. It's pretty good, right? Well, it's still there. But you haven't done the thing yet. So put it on top of your head. Okay? So, abracadabra. Smile, honey. You show this. Smile. Abracadabra. show them our dressing room but I can't get to it really and I don't want to I'll show you the dressing room tomorrow I'll do it <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> Bum -ba -da our room yay it was a good show we had fun now to do some we didn't have a backstage this year our side stage mm -mm. 
But now we get to go do some Black Friday shopping. At 5 in the afternoon. It's only 3. Don't worry. 3.52. Feet 3.53. Oh, sorry. I thought it was 3. Okay, at, at, at 4. 4.30. We have to go check in. <laughs> Natalie, you got your Christmas decorations. Yay! Look how pretty. Ooh. Ah. Very cool. I think you come over here. You're not the elite tier. You're all guests. Yeah. We're not elite. We're little man. Ooh, look at the wreaths and everything they got too. Very nice. Alright, here's our room. Bathroom. Bedroom. They actually had saved us two rooms instead of one, which was nice of them. Very thoughtful, but we only needed one. That's why I was calling Scotty and saying they saved a room for him. <laughs> this is nice. If only it was warm outside. Look at the sunset over there at the bridge. It would be a nice, nice time to sit outside if it was warm. It's pretty though. Very pretty. All right, show number one's over. Lana's in Roanoke. We already checked into our room, and now it's date night. What do you want to do? Oh, let's see. What does Wes want to do? He wants to go to Walmart and get deals on DVDs for Black Friday. Don't you, honey? <laughs> I also want to go see Justice League and get dinner. Oh, we gonna do that tonight? I don't know. Mm, fine. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. We just saw our boss in the elevator. Oh, yeah. What, what did he say? He said the head guy saw about 10, 15 minutes at the beginning of the show and came up to Jason, is the guy who hired us, and he said, we need to get their availability ASAP, get them here more often. So. That's awesome! <laughs> so, he said something specifically about a spring break. So we should be back in the spring, but we might be having a summer job here too. So, that'd be cool. We must have done something right. I think so. <laughs> Look at these, aren't these cute? They are cute. Oh no, the front guy lost his nose. A little snowman. It says Happy Thanksgiving on those. That's cute too. North Pole. <gasps> that is the North Pole. That's the North Pole. You have arrived. Hmm. I knew I went north. I didn't know I went that far north. Look at this. Nice. Chop tank A ball. Okay, so after the show we went to Walmart and got some Black Friday specials, filled up the cart with some Christmas presents for a bunch of people, got some Christmas shopping done. Oh yeah, it's all all back there. It's and not the all floor. of it. Yeah. It's everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, then we had some dinner. And now we are heading to the movie theater and we're gonna watch Justice League. I'm excited. I think Wes is more excited. You know, being the Superman fan and all. Right, honey? He's not in a lot of the posters, but you know he saves the day in the end. I just know it. <laughs> I just know it. Superman! <laughs>
uh, what'd you think about your wake-up call this morning, Natalie? I wasn't a happy camper. Somebody's happiest day of their life because they're getting married, but they ruined my sleep. Darn people and their loud music, <laughs> 10 in the morning. It was like a nightclub outside of our hotel this morning, and then drums, ding, 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 ding. And I said, Natalie, time to get up. No, what's going on? I said, I think a DJ's outside. I said, make it stop. <laughs> we go outside the door and we see a, a white horse decorated in gold. Yeah. And a whole bunch of people out there dancing. They were just, this is the dance move. I think I can do that one. I can't dance, but that one I can do. I can do that one. Now we're getting a little breakfast and uh, get ready to head over to do show number two today. And uh, they locked all of our equipment in the ballroom and they said nothing would be messed with, everything's safe. We took out our valuables, but we left all the show on the stage. We got there this morning and they removed half the stage and put all of our equipment on they what moved was left. Our stuff. They moved our stuff. So and the door uh, was wide open, unlocked and wide open. And so they anybody moved could our stuff. anybody could walk in. So we told them that uh, hey, next time you guys need to do that, I don't care if it's three in the morning, call us and we'll go down and help you guys. Yeah, we'll move it. Uh, that's why I never leave my equipment on stage. But they promised me to be locked up and not touched. So, oh well. So uh, we're gonna get to the show a little early today and do some. Uh, Make sure nothing's broken. Do some evaluate and make sure, yeah. But it'll be a good show. And this place is awesome. And we got to bed at 3 in the morning last night. And got rudely awakened at 10 and, in the morning. And got awakened <laughs> by drums and a DJ outside of our window. We're on the ground level. But uh, we're having fun. Missing my little girl, though. Yeah. So this is what we're talking about. We got here today and half our stage is missing. We're missing this whole front corner. That whole big chunk is missing for the Indian wedding that's going on. Right, Nat? Yup. <laughs> so since half our stage is missing, they that's said- nothing to do. They said they're sorry. Yeah. And then it was the catering department for the wedding. Yeah. Not them. Yeah. But. And the only thing that happened was our curtain got a little ripped, but they gave us a whole huge roll of duct tape. <laughs> so we fixed it. That's awesome. Well, I made this curtain and I sewed it and all the stitching came out anyway. Not and all of it. Just well, of it. <laughs> what is still in it does kind of rip easy, but it did get ripped. So. Yeah. yeah. But, but we fixed it, but that's, that's the. They didn't break anything else, so that's good. So, and know. they didn't do that on purpose. It's no, just moving no, stuff. No, they and didn't do that on purpose. They just didn't know what they were doing when they were moving. It was it. wrapped around the illusion. Yep. When they moved the illusion, it, or they could have stepped on it. Yep. But what did they say about future stuff? Oh, um, they asked if we were booked for New Year's Eve. We said not yet. He said you are now. <laughs> so we'll be here New Year's Eve, and then they want us for spring break. I think that's like 80% sure. And then they're going to talk about summer as well. So, we shall see. I'm happy about New Year's Eve because they, uh, we had a country club that usually books, but they had old pricing. And when we tried to go up, they were like, that's out of our budget. We can't do it. So, uh, they didn't. We don't have them anymore. But now we have here. I'd rather be here. So now we get to go back to uh, missing the ball drop. Because <laughs> we'll be working. That's okay. No, we'll probably see the ball drop. We can run to our room. Or they'll have, have something here. The we'll have to pack up the show. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Where are you? Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Jason. No, the the guy that Mike. makes the ball drop now. Oh. Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest yeah. He can wait. He can do whatever he wants. We don't care. <laughs> we got a show to do. Jesus, right here. Donnie, do me a favor, sweetie. Is it empty? Anything in there? Looks good. All right, here, check this out. Ready? There we go, Donnie. Ready? One, two, three. Come on, dog. And we have one more thing my daughter usually demonstrates. Actually, would you mind helping me? We know these guys from a different resort work, and they live a couple hours away. Come on, okay, come on, Can you do this one for one for me? 
We usually have our five-year-old daughter with us on stage. Yes? But we're going to have this little girl demonstrate it. Just say, Aaron, never really loud. Come on, guys. And it's super easy, and we also have that. We have a whole magic shop up here, and a whole bunch more. Do you guys have fun? Do you guys like the magic show? All right. home plus traffic and stops and then we gotta drop the trailer bring in the luggage I gotta do this much office work just something real small on the computer answer an email then we gotta drive two and a half hours south pick up Lana and the dogs probably stay there an hour turn around drive two and a half hours home that's why I'm in comfy clothes it's gonna be a long day on the road Goodbye, beach. Can you see the hotel over there? Say goodbye, hotel. There it is. Uh, see you at New Year's. Stuck in traffic. We were supposed to be home well about now. But it looks like we'll be on the road another hour. This is what it's been like all day long. Can you see the speedometer? I'm doing about 10 miles an hour.
This isn't fun. Natalie's resting now, but I'll have her driving when we go pick up Lana so I can nap. But this is awful. Four hour drive is gonna probably be more like a six hour drive, and that's just the first stint. Yuck. Alright, it's 7.40 at night. We're still driving down the road. I just woke up so we could do this video. Natalie's driving now. You doing alright? I'm doing good. We're making the turn now. A couple miles down the road, we'll get our baby girl. Lana. We get Lana hey. back. We got a lot of shopping done for her though. Just without her being around. It's been a little easier. We just stopped the store with you to get Christmas shopping done for her. Don't you think? Yeah, we filled up that cart. Yeah. All right. But well, I missed her. I'm ready to get her back. Couple more minutes, we'll have Lana. And I'm gonna wake up. She's in the kitchen cooking with Willow. We might have to wait till they're done. Look at her go. Knock, knock. Where's my baby? You shut the door in my face. Hello. What about me? What about Hello. me? Hello. No. Good. No. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. What are you making? Bread for, for Rosie's experiment. Again? Yep. Yes. Oh, my. Is she cheating by having a helper? No. <laughs> She's had a on it, got an off again helper. Oh, okay. Did you make it for yes. me? Yep. It matches my shirt so nicely. Look at that. I made it up by myself. You did a good job. It's from Tesla's oh, box. Oh, thank you. And it says so love on much. it. How did I miss that? Hold on. Look. It sure does. No, nobody will take it. Can I see it? Can I see it? Can I see it? All I can get it to say is wow. Here we go. <laughs> Mom, you see that? Yep. <laughs> no. I made it all by yourself. I made oh, myself. Thank you. <laughs> all right, where's my present? I don't have a present for you. And they oh got a bracelet. Gosh. Look at that. Look at that. I ask. Twelve oh four. Tired. It was a long day of traveling. It was a long day of traveling. 12 hours on the road? 11 hours on the road. We were at your parents for about an hour? Um, 12 and a half hours on the road. Oh, well, yeah, that includes being at my parents' house for like an hour. It was a long day. Yeah. I knew today would be bad. Well then, let's go to bed. We have to unload the dogs, unload the kid, put the crates away. Put the kid in bed. I gotta find my toothbrush and the luggage. Oh, that's easy. That's an easy thing to do. I gotta find stuff. It'll be okay. Good night. See you next week. <laughs>